Greetings, special centurions, and welcome, fellow YouTubers, back to Lorim. We are currently in Riften, attempting to get the Thieves Guild missions accomplished. But we've run into a slight hiccup in that when it gets dark at night, it gets really fucking dark. And I can't see a thing. So in order to combat that, we are going to have to craft ourselves a torch uh, to be able to move around at night. But in order to craft a torch, we need linen wraps and wood. The only place I know where you can get linen wraps from are Draugr Ruins. Unless, actually just thinking about it. Sorry, I'm going to go out again. There might be some in the Halls of the Dead. Uh, we need to get our hands on linen wraps, basically. And the easiest way to do that is by going into Draugr Ruins. <laughs> um, unless there's some in the Halls of the Dead over here. So let's go take a look. If there aren't any uh, linen wraps in here, then what we're going to have to do is go into a Draugr ruin somewhere and the closest or the best Draugr, best known Draugr ruin that fish, I'm fish. aware of is Bleak Falls Barrow. Uh, I know that there's definitely <gasps> linen wraps. There's one linen wrap there. We need two linen wraps. Damn it, that's so annoying. There's only one here. We need two. Is that cheese? It is cheese. You got cheese down here, but you got no linen wraps. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Fuck's sake. There's only one, so even if we were to steal it, it wouldn't be enough. We need two linen wraps. Okay. So yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go into the Draugr Ruins somewhere. And like I said, the only place I know that absolutely for certain is a Draugr Ruin is Bleak Falls Barrow. We could just wander off into the wilderness somewhere and hope we come across a Draugr Ruin. But that would take far longer and be a lot more difficult and dangerous than simply trying to make our way up to Bleak Falls Barrow. So we're going to do that now. Uh, I'm just going to, we've got the bow. That was the last thing we did. Uh, in the end of the last episode, we got Draven's bow back. So yeah, see look, we need to get in there. So in order to get in there, we need to do it when it's night time. So this guard here can't see us. But in order to get to here and get in there, I need a torch because I can't see where I'm going. It gets so dark. So yeah, we're going to drop the bow off to Dravin, or whatever this guy's name is. Drevin. Then we're going to head back to Riverwood. We're going to sleep at Riverwood to restore our spawn point to the Riverwood Inn. And then we're going to do everything around Riverwood. We need to kill the witch still. So we'll go do that first. Then we'll try and make our way up to Bleak Falls Barrow to get linen wraps. Then we will go to Embershard Mine, or whatever the mine is. That's between uh, Riverwood and Helgen. The place where we went to last time and I got shot by an arrow and insta-killed. There's a fire pit there. Butterflies! My flutterbies! It's worth capturing butterflies and bugs everywhere you go because you use them as bait when you go fishing. And I, I actually really enjoy the fishing. It's a bit slow and dull. You don't really do much but stand there and tap A at the right moment. But you still you get good stuff from it and it's, it's relaxing. So, has my bow turned up yet? Yeah, here you go. I found your bow. That's it. You found it. I don't know how you got it back and I don't want to know. Frankly, I don't even care. I'm just so glad to see it again. Good. Here. This is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Hope it's enough. Oh, just a whole load of gems. Jeez. Thanks. Watch yourself out there. Thank you. <gasps> More flutterbys. I can see flutterbys over here. Let's go grab them and then we'll head off to Riverwood. Nice. Okay. Thank you. 
I'm not going to rest yet because we're going to sleep when we get to Riverwood. So I might as well save my money. And oh, that's the guy I need to get there. Okay, so let's get rid of all the Riften missions. For the moment. Uh, let's get a Riverwood. Need a ride? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Going straight in, through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Isn't it? The white one area. Riverwood. Eighty gold. Drop me off at Riverwood. Climb and back, and we'll be off. <laughs> okay. Just sit back. This won't take long. Good. I should hope not. So yeah, we've still got a few things to do around Riverwood anyway, as well as try and get the linen wraps to go be able to travel anywhere at night. So yeah. Hopefully it'll be dawn. No, it is in fact the middle of the night. This is what I mean, we literally can't see shit. Is this, this is the Riverwood Inn, isn't it? Sleeping Giant Inn, thank goodness. Yeah, if you, if you arrive somewhere in the middle of the night, you just can't see anything. So we definitely need to craft some torches. You're that visitor been poking around. I like to sure thing. One day. Okay. Not in there. Next one over. In here. Sleep. Will you? It is twelve twenty. We'll sleep till five in the morning. Yeah, till five in the morning. That should be first light. Uh, let's get some food as well. I think I've got food on me. Yeah, nice. Um, let's just eat the apple pie. Nom 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 nom. Pie is delicious. Uh, okay, how's my inventory looking in general? 142 weight. Yep, that's fine. Imperial helmet is stolen. Oh, that's why I can't sell it. How much is it worth? 100. Where's Sven gone? Sven? Sven, where are you, buddy? Damn it, Sven. Is that a butterfly? I think I just saw a butterfly. Was that her, her staff? Oh, well. Don't know where Sven is. I need to give him this item to hold. Okay. It's a bit lighter now. Where's Sven gone? Don't know where Sven's gone. Let's go kill the witter. There he is. Is that Sven? No. Who are you? Someone. Don't know who you are. I can't see. It's too dark. Right, let's go kill the witch. That's the first thing to do en route to Bleak Falls Barrow. Oh, that's, we need to meditate as well. I don't know where Sven is. This is bad. We're going to need Sven's help to survive. I just don't know where he's got to. Plus he's carrying a load of my shit. Drop a save. Is there anyone in this tent? No. No. 
We lit fire, but no one in there. Oh, there's a deer right there. Huh. Could have captured, uh, could have hunted that. No, it's gone. Coming back? No. <coughs> Still a lot darker than I thought it would be. Light's dawning, but... Sven, where are you? Gonna need your help for this fight. Wherever you are, you prick. That's surely a hostile. Huh? Yeah. Stop that. Rolians. Yeah. Oh, no. Luckily he can't get to me. Well, I have no idea why he's bugged like that, but... Stand up, I need to keep maybe killing shot. <laughs> Die, fool. He's got a torch, pick the torch up. Please tell me I can get his torch. Iron Mace of, Bra of Banishing. Summon Daedra to level 20, I'll send back to Oblivion. If the target is not banished, you'll be dealt 40 magical damage that's pretty nice <gasps> we've have a, we found a torch chat vigilant helmet vigilant curious oh he's a vigilant of stendar he was a vigilant of stendar chat top of save since we were able to kill him he might not have been hostile, but we murdered him anyway and took his stuff. Which is amazing, because we now have a torch. It's heavy armor, his, his armor, but it's not the heaviest of armor. Whoa, that's really good, though. 272 armor. One-handed weapons deal 15% more damage. Stamina is increased by 50. That's well good. I'd rather have blocking absorbing 15% more or 10% more stuff. Okay. Don't know who that was, but he was some kind of uh, s vigilant of Stendar, and we murdered him for his torch chat. It's totally worth it. Okay, I think these guys will be hostile as soon as we go near them. Because they murdered us when we came out of the. Um yeah. Oh, I missed. I missed my first attack, my initial attack. I charged at her and uh, she was to the right. I couldn't see because it was so dark. Right, Sven, are you going to get off your ass and actually come and help me, you fucking prick? Are you just going to stand around right in behind here? You. Right, let's give you, some, give you the armor I found. Lucan's got a little bit. If you need weapons, or I'll be sure to put it to good use. Yeah, you better, you fucking idiot. Uh, 38 damage. 
We probably want to give him that. Uh, that helmet, that, that, and that, and an amulet of RK. And then we will take Saw, we will take the steel battle axe, so he's using the iron mace and the shield. Take the pirate hat, pirate stuff off him. He's now heavily armoured, he looks badass. Is there anything else you need? Look how beastly you look. Awesome, mate, good job. Is there anything else I need? Yeah, I need you to follow me. Come on, you fucking idiot. So I killed one of them, and then they started summoning, which was basically making it really hard to see where they were, because there were all these balls of light and flashing around me and stuff like that. And then I charged the second one, went to swing at her, and she was slightly to the right of where I thought she was. So I missed, and then she fireballed me and killed me. Right, good. Sven's actually with me now. Let's drop a save. Oh, we need to go to the Riften store, actually. Not Riften. Riverwood store because we've got a load of stuff we need to sell. Is it open yet? Yeah, it is. Good. The sooner you find the claw, the some may call this junk. Me, I sell call saw, them treasures. Sell the steel battle axe. Sell the pirate stuff. We need to read that. Physicalities of the werewolf. Uh, we'll sell these gems. He's got plenty of money. All right, then. Looks so cool. Ah, Camilla, fair as the morning sun. I'm right behind you. Got raving about Camilla. Uh, I need to trade some things with you. What do you need? Take the helmet as well, actually. Take the Imperial helmet. Yeah, he wears the helmet. So do we want to take this off him? What does it do? It's less armor. Restoration spells cost 10% less. Yeah, we'll sell that. Let I me would... know if there's anything else you need. He looks so cool like that anyway. Uh, I would disenchant it, but Bronan not know how to enchant Trinkets, or disenchant. Odds and ends, that sort of thing. So Bronan sell magic items for lots of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. Where's Sven gone now? Are you fucking kidding me? Oi, dickhead. Come on. There's fucking three of them over there. Well, there's two of them now. B. Catch the B. B. My B. There were three of them. Now there's only two of them. I need you to distract the other one and fight the other one while I kill the one of them. Well, we now know that they're hostile immediately, so we can just ambush them. Rather than me just walking into the ambush, or walking up to them, like we did just a second ago. I wasn't sure if she was hostile or not. Um, but yeah, it turns out they are. Sven again. He's so fucking useless. Honestly, what a dickhead. He's only good as a carrying mule.
Is there a torch up ahead? I thought I saw a light over here. Right, this is where the guy. This is where the guy was. Got the save again. There's the cabin. I want to shoot her and then immediately charge her. Is here? She's going to summon. Oh, I'm stuck on something. She sides that. Got her. Oh, there you are, Sven. You show up just at the end of battle. Good timing. Thanks for your help, you fucking pillock. Concordia Avidia, something or other. Common roads. We got them good, chat. We got them good. Orcish dagger, I'll take. Travelling priest robes, blue, not worth very much. Potion of fortify something, I will take. And where'd this other one go? Coven of Witches destroyed. Ronan live for destroying witches' covens. Roll of paper. Drop a save in case it crashes. Right, let's take all this stuff. Blue robe. Ooh, a backpack. Oh, we've already got a couple of backpacks. Nord Warhorn. Meh. Death Bell, Hag Raven Feathers. Can we get the, get the Soul Gem? Yeah. Get the Soul Gem. Barrel of food, I will take. Leeks, yes please. Sacks, potatoes. Salt. Wooden bowl. Large sack. Carrots in it, nice. Rabbit. Gonna eat well tonight. We'll eat well tonight, chat. Bronan's gonna eat like a king. Crate with the knife. Nut rolled cheese log. Okay, I'll take that. Vegetable soup. Pheasant roasted breast. Bread half. Bread. Wheat. Jug of milk. Wool basket. What does that do? Oh, it's hawk feathers. Cool. I didn't know you could take that. Barrel of food. Sack of flour. Bed. And another soul gem. Petty soul gem, salt, just some clothes, nothing interesting there. Oh, there's a bow here. We can't take the bow though, it's just decoration. Apothecary satchel, take all that. Hide boots, meh. Red mountain flower. She doesn't really have much here to be honest, just. Uh, Yeah, she's worth just worth killing for XP. Okay, job done. That's a dead bitch. That's what I like. Dead bitches. That came out weird. <laughs> uh, right, she's sorted. Uh, we need to go back to Riverwood. 
To be honest, we can probably just go back to Riften now at this point. Now that I've got a torch, which was what I was needing. I don't have the health at the moment to go up to Bleak Force Barrow and get into any more fight. Any more combat. Um, yeah. We might as well go back to Whiterun and then use the carriage to go back to Riften. And then we can carry on doing what we were doing around Riften. Which was Sneak Snog Thievery. We need to find a way to heal effectively out of combat that doesn't rely on potions. Because normally you just use your restoration skill. But Bronan not know how to use magic. Come back here, bunny. Sneaky bunny's hiding behind the rock. Let it go. No, it's gone. Yeah, if we can only rely on health potions to heal us outside of combat, then we need to get a um, recipe for healing potions as quickly as possible. So we're going to go to White Run and see if it has, see if she has any, has a healing potion recipe at the uh, apothecary, uh, and then, and then we'll go back to Riften, check the apothecary there as well. And, uh, yeah, go from there. Is that a bear? It's a cow. I'd stay away if I were you. Why? I'm on my way to a giant camp, and I can't guarantee those beasts won't think you're part of the offering. Oh. Keep your distance, and you shouldn't have anything to worry about. That's cool. Need any help? I have everything under control. Thanks for offering. Good luck. Thanks. You take care of yourself now. I see an elk chat. There was an elk over here somewhere. Don't know where it's gone now, though. Can't see it. There it is. I missed. We can chase it up the mountain like we did to the other app. If we chase it up here and it goes right, then we it should get cornered. No, it doesn't look like it did. It looks like it went left. No, it got away. Oh well. It came towards us as I came over the cleft of the hill. And oh, no, 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 it's a butterfly. Um, as I came over the cleft of the hillock. It started walking towards us and it saw us before I'd fully drawn the arrow. And uh, I got spooked and ran off before I could unleash a shot. Which is annoying, but say la vie, sometimes that happens. 
We're not the best huntsman in the world at the moment. We need more damage from the bow so we can take it down in one shot, really. Ideally. Light chat. Catch the butterflies. If you're wondering why I'm dropping save so much, it's because the game's quite jittery and it might crash at some point. And I, I just don't want to lose any progress. I hate losing progress. So I'd much rather just save save frequently. Who's this? Oh, you're that kitty cat who's running around. Right, let's go into Rift and the Apothecary, see if we can get a healing potion recipe from her. digging the music chat it's so beautiful now well it was pretty good music before in Skyrim but it's just awesome having new new themes for the game new music themes and stuff Can I help you? Need me help around the forge? Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Oh, finally, Here's this everything is you need to make one. Go ahead. Don't forget to check inside the shop. Uh, iron, iron dagger. This would have been useful at the have start. Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. Here's an iron Not dagger. bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Thanks for the business. Iron dagger. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Oh, maybe I didn't do it. I'll take my leave then. Does that not work? Ah, uh, crap. That's how you do it. You think out with it. This looks good. You put time into your blades, they'll serve you well when you need them. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's start by tanning some leather on the rack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this would have been really useful at the start. Oh well. Need something? Ah, good. A lot of weapons and armor need leather for straps, fittings, that kind of thing. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Mm hmm. I'm waiting. Well, I made the hide helmet. Is it a different hide helmet you wanted? I've got the hide helmet. What the fuck? Oh, is that hide helmet? Whoops.
Oh well. We'll just fuck it. We'll just fuck it off. Yes? Whatever. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Fine, dagger can go. Orcish daggers are 63. We're gonna sell them for the moment. Don't need them really. Hide helmet. Crafted the wrong hide helmet. Sorry, love. See you later. Leather and leather strips we're gonna sell. Alright. Until next time. Let's go to the apothecary. Welcome. What can I do for you? Uh, I feel strange. Do I seem all right? I think you might be sick. How do you feel? I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. What do you think I have? If I had a septum for every case of rock joint, don't worry. I've got something for just about everything. That's so funny. Uh, can I, what have you got for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? Sure, why not? Healing poultice recipe. Yeah, I guess. We'll buy that. Come back anytime. Uh, healing poultice, where is it? Recipe, healing poultice. Take three pieces of tundra cotton and refine it in a tanning rack. Ah, soak the cotton in weak alcohol, preferably in ale. Add three blue mountain flowers to the bottle and shake it strongly. If you need a remedy. Okay. Pardon me, but do I detect a case of the rattles? Long a little wheat and blister wart makes a healing... We have plenty of oh, ingredients for sale, too. wheat and too. blister wart makes a healing mm -hmm. potion, does it? Oh, that's good to know. Don't have enough empty bottles. Oh, we need to buy some empty vials. Okay. What? I can't move. I sell there cures go. for all ills, and I'll be. I have several elixirs for sale. Take a look. Uh, we need empty vials, empty potion bottles. She's got six. They're worth eighteen. Jeez. Farewell. Okay. Now I've got the empty vials. Fortify health. Restore health. <laughs> craft, craft. Okay. So I made potions of restore health. How good are they? Healing. Potion restore health, good. I made a couple of good ones, I think, or maybe I didn't. Potion of restore health, four. Health recovers by one per second for 20 seconds. Fortify health. Fortify health, fortify health. So I guess we made these, potion of restore health. Because that only gives me 20 back over 20 seconds. That's ridiculously bad. We need to get our alchemy up. Seriously, chat. Well, I've got a couple of healing potions now that I can use outside of combat, at least, for the slow heal. So we're looking for tundra cotton, right? And blue mountain flower. Blue mountain flower is everywhere. So if we see tundra cotton, we've got to pick it up to get the healing poultices going. Because then we can use those outside of combat, I should imagine. And they'll heal us more than a healing potion until we get our alchemy up. I 
Actually, there's that cave, that that in, inlet underneath White Run, just around the corner, isn't there? Could go there for a fight. Oh no, wait, we haven't slept in White Run yet. Never mind. Let's go back to Riften and carry on with what we're doing in Riften. There's the Thieves Guild in. There you are. Go and pick some fights. Oh, who are you? Always a pleasure. <laughs> Valen the warrior, okay. You look a bit like Sven in that armor. Right, back to Riften now that we've got a torch. want to go? Going straight through, or did you want to stop climbing back and we'll be off? You might run into some of them lizard folk in Riften. Quite a few of them work the docks there, not sure why. They like swimming in the lake, maybe. That's better, we've got a bit more health back now. Okay. Right, now we've got a torch, we'll be able to see where we're going around town at night and we'll be able to do some of the more... Uh, do more of the Thieves Guild missions, which is good. Uh, what can we do in between now and night? What time is it? How are we doing? Still got about 10 minutes of gameplay, good. Let's go to the apothecary and see if they've got any healing potions. Oh, what does this guy want? Nothing. Okay, just running past. Fair enough. Uh, first thing we need to do is set our sleeping place to Riften, so let's hire a, uh, hire a room. Now what did you want? I already paid, of course. I can't gold. stand this. Sorry, I lost count to 14. <laughs> you people make me sick. Actually, the light antlers are pretty heavy. Let's see what they do. They might give us something good. Fortify arm and stamina. Okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, sleep to what? Oh, good. It's coming into night time. Sometimes I'm not certain that the people of Riften want to eat. Heard any interesting gossip I lately? Some of them do, Lady Mule. Sven, where are you? I need to give you some I light antlers. Do something about it like you are. We got the message. Now just take your business elsewhere. I'm trying, but you're standing in the way. Thank you. I've had an excellent teacher. Right, where's Sven gone? Sven, I need you to give me carry some stuff. As always. Cartwheel out the door. Where's Sven? Sven, where are you? Useless prick. He's never around when you need him. There he is. Oi! Come here. I've got your back. No, you don't. That's the thing. You keep you saying need? that, but whenever a fight breaks out, you're nowhere to be seen.
Now I've got some armor, I might be able to defeat that guy at punching. So we might do that in a minute. Raw rabbit leg. Do I want him to carry anything else? I don't think so. Let's go if sell this any... stuff that we've got. Hope you're here for friendlier reasons, not trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Water breathing for two minutes, that could be useful. Let's keep that on us. Fortified barter can go. We want all the potions of healing and fortify health, stuff like that. Cheese log can go, red apple can go, sacks of flour, jug of milk. We've got plenty of food that's stolen, so we'll sell all the food that isn't stolen. Hawk feathers, lavender, river betties, salt, wolf heart, phylax, phys yeah, physicality to the werewolf. Journal weighs one. That can go in that case. Recipe, we want the healing poultice. Empty potion bottle we need. Uh, good. We want all the rest of that. I hope Brynjolf chokes on the door. It's not very nice, mate. You keep talking like that. I'm going to have to sort you out. Right, let's drink another one of these healing potions. That'll get us up to full health. Uh, this one. Uh, let's go fight. Now that we're back, let's put the right rift and quests on. So, chain of Marcus Cabela. Follow the ghost. Make changes in the ledger. Yeah. Very good job. That's how we go at punching this guy down. Again, now that I've got some armor, I might be able to do it. Let's drink a Fortify Health Potion. That'll do. Right, let's drop a save and let's kick his ass. Kick his ass, Seabass. Can I help you? Huh? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Give it to me or else. You have a death wish or something? Hands over now. Oh, Look, what? you must have me confused with someone else. Oh, you just have to fight him. Next time, think before you speak. Uh... Keeping busy? Depends on what you mean by bit. What can I do for you, friend? I want to fight you. How do I fight you again? Not let me fight him until next time so we, we can't fight him anymore i just wasted that potion that's annoying. too lazy to walk eh why can well, i not fight you, you anymore right i want to fight you again the option's not there normally there's an option saying uh living outside the walls is must be pretty scary or something and he's like no nah, i'm the manliest man around i beat up trees with my fists and you're like i'll fist fight you with my fists and he's like i'll fist fight you too with my fists and you get into fisty cuffs with it. All him. right then. 
I was hoping if we could do that, we could beat him down. And then by doing that, we would... Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, it's too, too complicated. By doing that, we'd be intimidating him. We'd be able to intimidate him. But that's not working, so we can't do that. Damn it, that's frustrating. I just wasted that health potion. Uh, we obviously need to get our persuade higher or be stronger to intimidate him better. Okay, so what can we do here instead? Let's go try the book of numbers again, the number book. Well, with that said, I think we're out of time for this episode. Yeah, we're running out of time. Uh, we can get down there, but we'll have to start off next episode with trying the number book. The book number, whatever, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, chat, you know what I'm saying. It's a numbers job. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. <gasps> She's not seeing that chair now. Go, go, go! No one can see me now. Yeah, did it. Where did you put it, woman? Uh, hey, what is it now, dear? Oh, don't you dear me. I had a bowl of vampire dust on my work table not an hour ago. Ah, oh, hello. I assume you read the diving work notice, yes? No, I haven't seen the notice. Odd. We paid a courier to spread the word and we did get a couple to sign with us within the first few hours. But afterwards, regardless. Here, as I said, it's diving work. Do take a look. Feel free to ask questions. Oh, I remember this quest. It's a fucking massive nightmare deluge of deceit. We did that on the Nolvus quest run and I got really angry. <laughs> it's because it's like, it puts you in a position where you can't leave the the cave once it's, once you get there, there's a cave in and you can't leave. The only way to get, f leave it is, um, the only way to finish the quest is by finishing the quest. You just can't, you can't leave, you can't stop doing the quest, you're stuck in the cave. And it's just a series of Tomb Raider-esque puzzles, like platform puzzles and button pressing and... It's just not Skyrim. It basically becomes Tomb Raider for like an hour and a half. Longer than that. It's like a four or five hour long cave that you're stuck in and can't get out of. And it doesn't warn you of that at all or give you any kind of foresight into that being the case. And it really pissed me off. So I really lost my shit with the game when we uh, tried to do that mission. I was really enjoying it to start with. I really liked the concept because... I liked going into alien ruins. I like going into alien ruins and stuff like that, but there's literally no other way into here, and there's a guard right there. Damn it. While we're waiting for night to fall, let's go back to the Thieves Guild and sell everything that's stolen. Oh, we haven't unlocked our entrance yet, have we? That's what I want to do. So we need to go down into the rat ways. I need to read the note she just gave me, otherwise I'll forget about it. Alright guys, we've come to... Who's this? Okay, random person. We've come to the end of the episode, so I'm going to wrap things up here for now. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm enjoying playing. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another episode of Lorem, so I hope you have a great day, and hopefully I will see you all there for that tomorrow. If not, I'll try and catch you in some other content I produce. I try and make content every single day now, so, ta till next time.